Hey everyone, it's Michael Fair from BIT here. Uh, I'm here doing a lowdown lockdown with Simon Nichols. How are you getting on, Simon? You well? Yes, I'm good, thank you. Very good. How are you? Good, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for uh, for joining me today. Uh, do you want to kick off then uh, and maybe tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah. So um, I've been working in change and projects for 25 years, which is a really long time. Um, so I've done various roles of um, systems analyst, business analyst, program manager, portfolio manager, but my last permanent role was um, head of business process and analysis at uh, what became Aberdeen Standard Investments. So the merger of Standard Life Investments and Aberdeen. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's really, that, yeah. that took me up to May last year. Uh-huh. I've got an interest in one. A big role that as well. And now you've entered the, the world of uh, of contracting. Uh, how have you found it? Timing has been awful. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people are trying to be quite positive about yeah. the market. Um, timelines differ between agencies. Some say it's going to pick up, you know, sort of July-ish time. Some people are a bit more... Um, a bit more reluctant um, in terms of timelines um, or suggesting it might be the end of the year. Um, really? So, right. yeah, but um, but yeah, pretty much everybody's trying to be, I think, been honest um, with where things are at. Um, you know, I think as and when things come in um, or opportunities come in, they're, they're finding agents to be quite um selective in, in who they who they recruit um, or who they who they contact because I think there's a lot of people on the market at the minute as a result yeah. of IR35 and Brexit changes um, so there's there's definitely a lot of people um, available um, so um, so yes yeah, so it's quite it's quite difficult getting out there and getting um, you know getting your name out to agencies. Mm-hmm. There's definitely a lot out there and I suppose it's keeping your network going um, you know using LinkedIn speaking to all the agencies and stuff and I think you'll get you might even phone the same company and get varying views on uh, on when the market might return to normality, and it I suppose it depends on the person, you know, how optimistic they're being. Um, Realist, you know. Um, my view does change. I mean, it does change sometimes because I think it's just so difficult to pinpoint when things, I suppose, will turn to, you know, normality. But I think the good thing is that we've got the twelve guys, obviously, in BIT just now that we can still have that holistic view, you know. But it is uh, it's strange going from from thirty uh, plus down to thirty twelve. Yeah, so I've, I've spent a lot of time kind of leading big teams, um, which has been great and rewarding and, and challenging at the same time. Yeah. I guess where I really want to go in terms of contracting is 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 getting back hands-on. So mm-hmm. so doing some sort of um, either sort of strategic analysis or operating model design or some sort of some change management of some complex problems. That would be great if I could, um, you know, get, get involved in, in something like that. Um, or, or even a you know interim head of VA role, give me opportunity to shape a team, build a team up. Um, yep. that, that would be really interesting as well. There you go. If you're watching there and you've got that type of position in, Simon's your man. <laughs> we'll tag him in the post when he posts up. Awesome. Um, now, obviously, Simon, you'll see uh, I like to run uh, and like to kind of post <laughs> that I'm running on LinkedIn. Let, every, let the world know. Yeah, I um, like that. I like those little videos. Yeah, trying to uh, motivate, uh, I suppose myself, give myself some accountability as well for going out and trying to kind of keep fit and healthy. Um, but I can see obviously you're a very fit guy, you know. Um, what's your what's your kind of, I suppose, background then in terms of what you've been doing? I know you've you've obviously done triathlons. How long has that been going on for? Uh, about 10 years, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. So, yeah, so, so I, I surf as well. Um, right. And, and the reason why I got into triathlon was I started doing some some mm-hmm. swim training because I was a terrible yeah. swimmer. How can you be yeah. a bad swimmer and, uh-huh. and a surfer? I don't know, but yeah. I did some swim training, and that was a bit a bit boring just swimming up and down the pool. So mm-hmm. that kind of led to the triathlon thing, um, and yeah. been hooked ever since, really. And do you find that when you're out uh, doing the triathlons, um, it's always funny to think so. You said to this earlier, so the triathlon is obviously a swim for people that don't know. What, what's the distances for a triathlon? I know they vary, but what's the average for people that are listening then? What's the average in the swim and stuff like that? So so the, the, the triathlon that a lot of people will be familiar with is called Olympic distance or standard distance triathlon. So that's what they do in the Olympics, obviously. Yeah. Um, so that's a, it's a um, 1.6K swim, um, a 40K bike and a 10K run. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and when you see people like the Brownleys doing the 10K run at the end, I mean, they're flying. They're running 29 minutes for the 10K, which is, you know, unbelievably fast. That's really um, fast. Yeah. Yeah. And but, it's after but, all that as well. <laughs> yeah. But what I find with me, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know if it's because as you get older, you get more suited to the endurance stuff, but I like doing the longer distance mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. So I tend to do half Ironman or Ironman events. Yeah. Um, so an Ironman distance is 3.8K swim, mm. 180K bike, and then a marathon 42K run at the end, which is just, you know, slow and steady. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I mean, there's so much to unpack there. Like, I'm training for a marathon, the Edinburgh one, and that just got moved to, I think, the 6th of September um, from, like, May. And there's so much involved in training for the marathon. Like, I've done halves and stuff like that. Um, but you're doing the swim, 180 kilometer bike ride. Yeah. And then, just, just to top it off at the end, you're doing what I'd be training months for as the marathon yeah. at the end. Um, you, you know, the bizarre thing when you, when you run a, a, an Ironman marathon, you don't actually do that much run training because the, the focus is actually getting bike fit. Uh-huh. So, when you get off the bike, for the best part of you know five and a half hours six hours or whatever you're not absolutely knackered that you can't then run so you do a lot of bike training i mean obviously you do run training as well yeah, yeah, yeah. but my my run training would be very different to your run training for example um both in terms of distance and uh-huh. intensity yeah what i mean it just must what does it feel like when you come off a 180 kilometer cycle and then start using your legs to run your body must uh, just be like what is going on here no it, it, it actually feels like relief uh, I'm, I, <laughs> relief <laughs> mentally, a relief over here the marathon coming up. You know? Well, re- relief that's yeah. like it's the last of three things I've got to do, mm-hmm. but also it's like relief you're getting off the bike and it's like you haven't had a puncture or you haven't had a mechanical on the bike, so you're going into the marathon and it, it then becomes right. You know, I can do this because it's just me and my head and my feet. Mm-hmm. So you know that's the only thing that's stopping me finish now. And yeah. You know, obviously you've got forty two K to run and that's not a breeze in the park, but yeah. um but it's it's it is it, I'm in a and I'm in a mentality where it's the finishing straight. You know, the start of the marathon is the finishing straight for me. What's going through your head during like even during this like during during Iron Man? So how how long like how long is the full event like in total from start to finish? Like what are you finishing the whole kind of whack in? So time. Yeah. Uh, uh, 11 16 was my last one 11 hours 16 that, which is so, pretty average that's amazing that you're you're you're, you're running your in you know, your body you're running for you know for that amount of time in terms of like keeping your body moving yeah um like that's amazing see me the negative mindset sometimes would kick in and be like 10 hours to go nine hours to go eight hours, do you know what i mean I what know. do you do what do you do in your head like what do you tell yourself surely you must lie to yourself at some point but what do you say during the you, you, during the you, event you, Definitely chunk it up. Just count them off one at a time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and just break it down like that. Yeah. You're taking them out and, and breaking any like manageable chunks. Perhaps. But the Ironman I did last year was was all right actually. I was mm-hmm. I was okay the next day. I was able. It was in Amsterdam, so you know, took myself off and went around some nice um, coffee shops in Amsterdam. Not the dodgy ones, but you know, the ones where you can, <laughs> the ones where you can drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, yep. And uh, and it was okay. It was good just to kind of you know, move things about. I think I'd have been worse if I'd have been sitting on a chair all day and allowed things to seize up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the, bo- the body wasn't too bad, but, you, you know, you take it easy for, you know, a good couple of weeks after that. You've been doing the triathlons for 10 years and you know the Ironmans and stuff. Do you think your mental mindset's changed quite a lot from when you didn't do so much to, you know, what you've been doing now? Um, yeah, I think staying, staying active definitely... Mm-hmm definitely helps um getting outdoors definitely helps no awesome well thanks very much simon uh and uh as always you know looking for anyone look at business analysis contract wise simon's your man and uh thanks very much for taking the time to do this simon um that's been awesome all right thanks michael